Okay, it's me, David, adjunct professor at Wake Tech. I'm back. Round two. Picking up where we left off. Um, the So we just covered uh, paragraph spacing. That's something that not everybody has been doing. An another way to go about doing it. Um, let's get a sample paragraph here. Something not too big. We'll do this. So, if you're going to have, if you're going to break these up, not that one, if you're going to break these up and, say, offset them a little bit, just please make sure that you align them. Or, uh, so there's another fancy alignment tool. Where is it? Alignments, alignments. I had it out here. All right, there we go. Distribute spacing. So, um, just in case some are smaller, some are bigger, you can distribute spacing. And so the spacing between them will remain the same, even if the paragraphs are a different size. Okay, actually, I'll just leave those there. Just because... We're going to leave those there. I've got something else in mind uh, for a little later. Alignment. There we go. Okay. Uh, so please keep them in line. Uh, by having them equally spaced, it gives the viewer an indication that these kind of belong together. Because uh, if I have these close together and these close together, well, that kind of in indicates these top two are together and these bottom two are together, and they're not all one cohesive unit. Or one idea. All right. Um, we did padding. We did margins. We've done. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll do that in a minute. Okay. Okay. Let's do uh, fonts real quick. Fonts are kind of important, you know, in typography. So what I uh, this is what I've done in the field. Uh, in the field, yeah, dummy. This is what I used to do at my job. So what we would do is we would pick a uh, a primary font and a secondary font and maybe even a, a tertiary or a third font that would be used to like um, for like a, a call out. But anyway, it, uh, so here's your font. Uh, let's do all caps. Come on, and let's see. You usually want to do a uh, a sans serif and a serif, or a serif and a sans serif. Just oh, that is disgusting. That that's truly horrific. Let's try a different one. And I just fly through these. Ooh, that's fine. All depends on what you're using it for. Let's turn this off. That's a nice uh, sand syrup right there. Oh, doesn't like me anymore. Come on. Let's go back to Arial. That is not Arial, but kind of looks like my favorite beer. Beat that up. See what it looks like with caps. Okay. There we go. It's not awful. Not not awful. Let's see what happens if we uh, decrease the kerning. Oh, now that looks hieroglyphic. Okay. Let's undo that. Okay. And now, under that, I'm going to choose a sans serif, or something that's a little more uh, standard. Let's go with, yeah, let's go with Arial, see what happens. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's fine.
Okay. Decrease the letting. I want these to appear to be together. Make sure they're not overlapping unintentionally. I Personally, I don't like overlapping, but um, some of you have proven to me that it works and it can look amazing. So congratulations there. So this is not the greatest, but this is a good example of, hey, fancy and not so fancy. We can go on ahead and play with that. We can play with that. We can do all sorts of things. Just play with it. That's that's. This is the art part of um, typography. This is the art part. Just play with it. And I have seen, um, I have seen mood boards where, come on. You've got like. 50 of these floating around, different types, different styles, and you, uh, we're going to try something different here. Ooh, that's also disgusting. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Something like that, I don't know. But have fun with it, you have fun with it, you do your thing. Okay, so something to note is... Uh, you know what? Okay, let's do let's do repetition real quick. So we've got this fancy font. Let's make sure this works the way I'm. You know, screw it. It's fine. Repetition will bring your document together, and by repetition I mean reusing fonts. So we've got this font down here. Let's see what is that? Um, Minion Pro. Yeah, it's because I was lazy. Um, and we've got Alba. So let's do. We'll do Minion Pro, and then I'm going to take that U here, and I'm going to do, I'm going to do that in Alba, and this is going to be repeating the, this is going to be repeating, you know, the, the, uh, thing, Lord. <laughs> repeating the font. I'll get there. I'll get there. So notice how it, it comes down. It's not all that great. Here's what we can do. Create another space. Another text box. Uh-oh. Didn't like me. Let's make that pretty big. Close it up. Okay. We're going to put a word wrap on it. I love me some word wrap. So now this has a word wrap on it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Let's give it... Uh... Oh, not that. Double click. Does that work? Nope, doesn't work. Okay, fine. Fine. Go up to object. Where is it? Clipping? Nope. Interactive. Come on. Come on. Text free not. Nope. Range. Type. Nope. Come on. Layout. I know I just saw it too. And see, here, this is a really good example of uh, you know, keyboard shortcuts. Should know where this is. Clipping path? No. Text frame options? No. Content? No. Nope. Fitting? Fit frame to content? No. Nope. Options? Come on. Path, path, shape, display, performance. I know it's here somewhere. This is annoying. This is very annoying. Type. Maybe. Layout. Oh, heavens. You know what? Guess we'll have to open the palette. Text wrap. Oh, yeah. Not a command, because there it is. All right, lock them all together. Give it um, OP6. That's a good one. And I generally like... I don't need to zoom in right here. I generally like to have the bottom of the text wrap uh, margin. You know what? Screw that. I am... Taking that up there. Uh, 
Yeah, there we go. Cool. And that works. That works. A little bit. Yeah. That's exciting. Okay. So, notice I'm reusing the, uh, the fonts, and that's going to give my uh, document more cohesion. It's, it's going to feel like it belongs together. Like, I'm not just throwing stuff together uh, willy-nilly. I actually have a plan. I know what I'm doing. See? Fake it till you make it. And then you've made it. Okay, so we got fonts. Okay, here's the big one, guys. This this hurt me a lot. Put me through a lot of pain. Uh, here's an image. Uh, this is a project I'm working on in my free time. But we're going to... We don't want this image so big. We want it much smaller. So we want to fit it in here somewhere. Somewhere. So let's just take this. Apply a word wrap on it. Give it uh, one, two, three, four, six. Okay. Now, I'm sure you guys have noticed. Oh, lock that up. Lock that together. There we go. Um, you know, as you scale the image box or image frame, it cuts stuff. And that's not what we want. We want... I'm sorry for the barking dogs. I have wood being delivered to make a dog fence. So the dog stop barking. It'll be okay. Okay. So here, got the image. <clears throat> this is the text frame. Uh, and here's, you know, text frame options, da, 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 you know, location, size, that kind of thing. That is not the image size. To access the image size, we got to click on that right there. Or you could just double click. And now you'll have a nice blue green bleh, uh, border around the image inside the frame so that's cool if you look up here uh, at the top you've got hundred percent and hundred percent that's because I have not scaled it yet so I can come in here and I can say give me fifty percent yay okay text box is still t bigger than the image so hit command or control alt C bring it down together yay Nice. So say I want to make the image smaller uh, still. So one thing I can do is I can go to, what is it, free transform tool. And this is where people are making me nauseous. Because they decide I want to fit the image on the page, so I'm just going to scrunch it in. That image is very obviously scrunched it is stretched it is it hurts Ooh, and then we're going to try and bring it down like that and it, it's still still not pretty that hurts guys that hurts so when you go in here and you select the actual image you got some crazy butt numbers up there so let's let's fix that 40 and 40 all right that's that should be the it isn't the image has now been scaled to 40 percent there's no distortion. Just to show you again. Crazy distortion. And up here we got 28% by 40% because I brought it in horizontally. It's not happy. I'm not happy. Don't ever do that, please. Dear Lord. Now if you wanna if you wanna cut one of these guys out, I mean, sure. Like Hey, Beefcake, I like you, but nobody else. So, you get to stay in my document. Because you're pretty. He's not pretty. Don't tell him that, though. He's a big guy. Don't want to upset him. Okay, uh, let's see what else. So, you can do that. You can clip it. You can actually come in and, and do some fun things with the, uh, the text or the uh, image frame itself. You can go in, do the direct selection tool, hover over... Come on. Hover over the corner and you can actually get a vertice. And you can move the vertice. You can even use the pen tool to make more vertices. Come on. So you can do complex shapes. It's fun. 
problem with that is oh, there we go. Sweet. Shibbity sweet. Okay. So that's that's what you can do. That is what you can do. Um, other than that, don't do don't do the scaling. Un mm. Okay, let me undo some stuff, get back to where I was. Okay, there. Uh, one thing I would recommend doing is always use the scale tool. So S is your scale tool. I don't think I need to put that up in the shortcuts because it's pretty self-explanatory. S. So what you're going to do is you're going to click eh, right about a 45 degree angle away from the uh, box or the uh, the origin point here. You're going to click, and drag, and notice it's snapping. It's like, uh, or it's uh, it's kind of doing both horizontal and vertical. Hold shift. Make sure you drag up at a 45 degree angle, and it will constrain it horizontal and vertical, and you will have no distortion. Yay! It's exciting. Fun. All right, let me see. Um, we talked about resetting it. Yeah, Control Alt C. Fonts, spacing, grouping. Ah, grouping. Let's let's talk about grouping for a second. Oh, one thing to note when you're doing the word wrap, it propagates through layers. So even if I turn that layer off, it's still working. So I'm going to turn the word wrap off. I don't need that right now. Okay, let's turn that off. Bring that in. Yay. Okay. Uh. Say I'm, I have this here, and I want to do bold. Give me bold. Shoot. Okay. So here I have. Let's delete that. Okay. Here I have a paragraph, and each paragraph I'm going to have them uh, with a <clears throat> each para paragraph is going to have a header, and I'm just going to make one up. But what I can do now, you can go through and do a paragraph style or a header style. That is fine. The downside to that is. If you're going to be doing this, like if, if you have five paragraphs, then it's really not going to save you much time. So one thing that I like to do is uh, what's called, uh, well not called, it's copy paste. I'm using the eyedropper tool to copy and paste uh, text uh, styles. So you can use the eyedropper, just I for eyedropper. And I'm going to click that there. And now notice it's changed a little bit. The eyedropper is now full of something. So I'm going to come down here and select that. And it copies exactly the formatting for the character and for the paragraph. Same thing here. Um, so to switch back to sucking up information, hold Alt. This is the exact opposite of Photoshop and in and Illustrator. And then I'm just going to do that. And let's dance. Suck it up. Nope, nope. Suck that up. Put it there. Cool. Um, I guess if you're going to be changing all of the things, then it would be a good idea to to do that. So I'll do a paragraph style here. Do new paragraph style. Call a header. You know how to do this. You know how to do this. Yeah. Paragraph style. Yep, that one. Sure. And so now I can apply that, you know, all the way down. Of course. Now I don't think. Oh yeah. Okay, that works. Sweet. So what this is going to do again? Consistency. This is going to allow you to uh, maintain 
100% consistency across all of your headers and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, just wanted to touch on that. And I think, I think I'm good. I think that is all that I wanted to cover. All right, so good luck with your final projects. Please take these uh, particular topics into account, and see you guys later.